Hey gang, Chris Crone here, and um, I want to share something with you. I had a really cool opportunity to come across my plate. I feel like I've got them hitting every day right now. Um, right now, I'm being interviewed by a major TV network because they want me to—they want me to be their real estate, their flipper, their real estate guy. I, I honestly don't even know if I want the opportunity. But one of the things that I've learned in life is that when an opportunity presents itself, the part of creating the chaos of abundance is you have to learn how to say yes. Most of us are just programmed to say no. And you have to learn how to say yes to create the chaos of too much opportunity. And then you're ready to learn how to say no to scale it back and select the right opportunities. So it's interesting. I'm, I'm setting up in my house and, and Cam was cool and he came over, he brought the lighting kit because the TV network said, okay, Chris, this is going to be a Skype call. But dude, we want you to bring your game, like, you know, jump in the shower and do your hair. I didn't do that this morning. He, you know, we want you to dress the right way. We want you to, we want you to be your, your, just your same normal passion itself that we can expect if we were to bring you on and, and basically have the network sponsor a TV show with you. And uh, it was kind of fun. So, so Cam came over, we did the whole setup, and then, uh, and then I just got to let it fly. But I asked this question right before. I said, listen, are you guys looking for drama or authenticity? And the reason why I asked that is because Success or achievement is not worth selling a part of your soul. You gotta be true to who you are. And if, if the TV network's just looking for someone that can ham up the drama, um, my job in life is to eliminate drama, not create drama. And uh, anyway, it was a really fun experience to, you know, just to, to have that. They were, they were really excited, they were really impressed. I don't really know if it goes anywhere, but this is the other, this is the other thing I feel impressed to share with you. Most of us give up long before the success is ever gonna come. I mean, we've got it programmed in us. Like I tried something, I wanted something, I went after it, and then I didn't get it. I'm a failure, I'm a loser, I can't do it. And that self-talk right there, once you put that on your broken record, playing over and over again on repeat, then you're gonna pass up all the opportunities that are available to you right now. Some of you in life might feel like you haven't been given your chance. Some of you feel like you might not have been given your opportunity to, to shine or be in the limelight or, or, or have your rise, your meteoric rise to whatever it is you're going in life. And the reality is it's right there. But most of us, I'm just telling you right now, you probably gotta fail not 10 times more, maybe 100 times more before you start seeing incremental measures of success. The pathway to success is this crazy windy road. It's not this straight shot thing that all comes down to luck. There's no luck about it. You either cultivate the ability to be game on and rock it when life comes and you gotta be able to show up. And I gotta share one last thing. You, We've got to stop getting upset in life about like the messy room. We've got to stop getting messed up because the dishes weren't done. We've got to stop like losing control because a friend of ours came into our life and said something that we didn't like. That's the stuff like mentally if you can't manage that state, if you can't choose to live in like what Tony Robbins calls a beautiful state, dude, su success will never not only not knock on your door, it won't get within like a million miles of your home because you're still busy dealing with with problems like, you know, I, I, I didn't have the discipline to, to wake up early this morning and I, I'm not taking care of my body and I'm not putting good food in and, I, and I'm still fighting over the same things over and over. It's called pattern recognition, right? Like we've got, once you start recognizing the pattern for what isn't working, you gotta do something to break that pattern. So what I wanna just kinda share with you today is yes, today was just another opportunity of success. Most of these things honestly never go anywhere, but it doesn't matter, it's about like, it's like playing, it's like being in the game. It's, a, it's about having your head in the game and knowing that the real wealth says no matter what happens, the good, the bad, and the ugly, that you manage this mental state, that you get to be fulfilled and happy and connective no matter what. So friends, listen, if you have failed before, pick yourself back up and not just for one more try, pick yourself back up for the indefinite number of tries and that's when success becomes inevitable. Thank you so much for watching today's video. Frankly, I hope it's useful for you. If you got a nugget, something useful for you, write it down and ask yourself, how can you take action on it right now? And the other action is make sure you subscribe, ring the bell, and click over to the website so I can share with you more ways that we can play.